Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I will have another piece of Dhaka Bangladesh video and I'll be showing you something uh, different today. So this is uh, in uh, Dhaka, Mirpur and if this is the first time I repeat visit, thank you for your support on this hybrid channel. I'm always showing you different ideas to take you beyond boundaries. If you're into thinking outside the box, this is the channel for you. If you're looking for more travel videos, there'll be links in the description box below. So what I noticed in this area that uh, there's a young girl feeding the dogs and I got interested and then uh, what she mentioned that uh, she feeds uh, the, all the street dogs in this area and actually there's a kind of a small community who looks after the street dogs uh, they give them medicine and the food and even give them shower and the vaccination so she's here with me right now and once uh, you know uh, you'll see that you know once she's out the dogs are going to start coming chasing to her for food and they will express their you know gratitude and uh, happiness so her name is uh, Priyoti and I'm just going to ask her a couple of questions before we actually see what uh, the dogs do before the dogs come to her so uh, hello Priyoti I'd like to uh, ask you why you started feeding the dogs because like you know there's three dogs but they're like they're still animals and you're supposed to take care you should take care of them okay because they are not entirely capable of taking care of themselves and a lot of people like you know they try to feed them or abuse them but in my area people are actually very helpful they feed them daily and uh, there's also an uncle he runs a shop and he arranges like monthly injections and medicines and stuff like that so everybody else seeing the ones that we us we take care of them so a lot of people see us and they have also started to care of the dogs okay so uh, there's another uh, uh, small community person uh, but I was not able to get a hold of them because they're away at this point so uh, Pioti has been feeding them uh, for a while and taking care of some of the dogs and they're very cute so what we'll do right now that she's going to you know uh, get some food and I'm gonna buy some um, bread or biscuits and then if I whistle or call them they're gonna know it's me and they're gonna come see me okay so okay so we are following you yeah. okay so we'll follow up to First, okay. Because a lot of the shop owners don't like if I go to their shop and the dogs are with me. Okay, sure. Okay, actually, looks like someone just found out that you know she's out, and he uh, actually she started uh, kind of like you know uh, coming after her, and you'll see that you know once uh, there's one dog, there's going to be many others. So let's uh, let's start with buying the. So we have another uh, street dog right here and I think pretty soon he's going to find out uh, that uh, she's out and they're going to go start uh, chasing after her. So we'll just go and get some... Uh, sorry? Okay, so uh, she's going to get some food uh, but uh, looks like the usual store she goes to is closed so we're just going to some other stores and get some i think she's, she fits uh, the dogs a specific kind of like you know biscuits or cookies or bread and that's what uh, she's looking for Okay, so we bought uh, 35 takas worth of uh, food, uh, like you know, cookies and uh, bread, which is about uh, 40 cents uh, US or in that range. So now we are just going to go out, and you'll see that you know the dogs are coming uh, to eat, and they'll like you know make very uh, cute noises. And so this is kind of a small uh, store selling everything, and. Okay, so actually she first demands her babies and we'll see the action uh, very soon.
Okay, so this is the, there's another one came. So we see actually lots of them coming here and there. And this try to sniff my feet. Okay, so see what's happening here. It's like they're chasing her. I think one of them uh, is major and the rest of them uh, probably have no name. Okay, so one is afraid of the others, so probably just a little bit behind. But one is looks like, you know, uh, very close. Okay, so I'm just going to stay a little far. Okay, so she's feeding them from her hand. See that they're going nuts and oh, look at this. So I think this uh, dog, uh, black and white striped dog, is overjoyed. And actually, one is coming off a little bit running away, but uh, she said that she's going to come back. Uh, So today I see there's only uh, four four of them. Sometimes you'll see more of them. Are there more dogs or these four? Yes. Okay, so they're not coming, right? The other um, other dogs? So one was pregnant, so I think she's with her baby right now. Okay. And um, there are more in that area. They, they were like four dogs, the areas are divided. Oh. Every dog can go everywhere. Oh, okay, so, so the dog... These five uh, stay in this area. Okay, so can, they have kind of their own zones, and I think they don't pass their zones. So, you know, there are more dogs, but they're going to come now. I see uh, far away there's another dog, but I think uh, that dog is kind of trying to come. Uh, I can see uh, the dog wagging the tail, but uh, it's not coming here yet. But these are definitely, you know, enjoying uh, the food. So in the past actually I have I've seen a lot more other dogs but today looks like the numbers are limited. It could be that they're just away or maybe they could be sleeping. So we didn't have uh, we don't have uh, luck in terms of numbers but you'll have an idea of what I'm referring to. So that's what she does every day, uh, or almost every day, that you know, she buys uh, bread and cookies and feed the street dogs. And uh, what I was told that uh, even she's going somewhere else, which is like it could be a thousand miles away, uh, the dogs from that area, which are street dogs, somehow they realize that she's, uh, she loves dogs and they start chasing her for food. And this is really unique or exceptional because I, I don't understand how, how come other dogs can sense that you know this is uh, a dog whisperer who feeds other dogs and they know that you know she's the one they should be seeking for food. So so far I don't see other dogs are coming near. So this is only uh, three dogs today. <laughs> I think they're like in hiding somewhere or they're just not available at this point. Okay, so I don't see any other dogs coming today. Okay, so I, we just see there's another one. Uh, I think I saw this one before, so she took a break and came back. Um, she doesn't like biscuits, I think she was looking for bread. Oh, okay, so she wants bread. Yeah. Hey! No. No more? Okay, 
Okay, so she's going away. So this is a very encouraging sign and something very interesting and you know heartbreaking or you know uh, overjoyed. I'm, o I'm overjoyed with uh, seeing this that people are actually looking after or taking care um, street dogs and this is not something you'd see in a country like Bangladesh or other places on earth every day. So definitely, you know, I appreciate. Uh, giving me the opportunity to record this video and present this to the world and this is uh, the girl her name is Piyoti and she is uh, you know I call her the dog whisperer and she feeds street dogs in on this narrow street of Dhaka every day or whenever she gets a chance so thank you for watching this video uh, for the next travel video I'll put a link on the screen I'll see you in the next video thank you for watching